All right, welcome to my Scrap Night Jewels gameplay and review. I was supposed to do this at least an hour ago, but my dog ran away. She chased a skunk, but I'll do a video on that tomorrow. That was chaos. I'm home now. We're back. Let's do this review. So I got gifted this by my friend Darkest. So I'm going to buy the wing spanner for 800. This is her pickaxe. She does not have a glider in the shop, but we have an old glider. So there's that. And there's no wrap associated with this either. So we've got a little bit of work to do to make this combo. So first of all, let's go ahead and equip the pickaxe called the wing spanner. Now for a glider, you can use the other jewels glider, which is called Ohm right here. So that should work out perfectly. Now of note, she is in the same set as her counterpart. This is the Intrepid Engines set. So a lot of people are saying this is not the same character but it really does look like it. She has freckles right there. Someone said she doesn't have freckles on this one, and they're right, she does not. So, hmm, maybe it's not the same character. I mean, obviously it is Jules, but wait, she has the same neck tattoo. Oh, maybe it's not the same. So it's the same design, but look, it's silver on this one. Hmm, but where did her freckles go? Huh, well, that's interesting. So obviously the original Jules is a shadow member. And if we look at the cape of this one, that's the IO symbol right there. So mm, I don't know where this is going, storyline related. And there's her ohm glider owl as part of the cape. Now another interesting thing, let's go back here. If we go to Midas Rex, you guys remember Midas Rex? He's got a suit of golden armor, and hers is silver. I thought that was a nice touch. He's the golden alpha, and she's the silver beta, I guess. Obviously, they are father and daughter. We do know that. Now, I don't know if her original rep is going to go with this. What does it look like? Oh, wow. It will. Maybe they planned this, because that is a nice silver color. That should look pretty nice, although it looks more metallic. Is there metallic silver that we have? I thought there was. I don't know, I can't find it if there is one. Let me know in the comments if there's a better wrap other than her own from her other style. I swear there was like a really metallic looking silver wrap, but I'm just not seeing it. Maybe it was one of these, hmm, I don't know. I'll check later. All right, so let's check out some gameplay and we'll see if there's anything secretly reactive maybe. And I'm anxious to see this pickaxe. Everything's mechanical related because, you know, she's an engineer. All right, here we go. Let's see what the ohm looks like with this style. So obviously the owl is a metallic silver color. So that already flows pretty nicely. Does make that mechanical noise as well. Well, I haven't ran this glider in a long time. I love jewels though. Pretty sweet. I don't remember seeing that shock up there. Look at that when the owl attaches. A little bit of uh, static electricity there. All right, so let's take a look at this skin. So first off, you can see that the little gear on the pickaxe rotates, so that's pretty cool. There's something golden inside the pickaxe as well. You can see it right there. It lights up for sure, so that's pretty neat. The second thing I noticed, other than the Iogard symbol on the back of her cape, is that the eyes on the Ohm Owl on the top of the cape light up. Now, I want to see this at nighttime to make sure they actually glow, but it sure does look like they're glowing to me. And then every once in a while, you get a nice gleam effect right there on the pickaxe. Here's what it sounds like. It's got a nice metallic sound. Listen to this. And when you pull it out, you can see that light kind of leaves a little bit of a contrail. So that's pretty cool. How about when we swing it? Oh yeah, that light definitely leaves a golden contrail. I love that. But why is there a light inside there? That's weird. It's got a nice metallic sound there as well. How about a splash? Nope, I don't see a splash effect. That looks like the standard one. So let's spin her around here, old school first. Boy, she just looks awesome. I didn't notice a nose ring in the locker, but I totally see one right there. I have to check that again. But this silver armor, I think this looks better than the golden Midas Rex, in my opinion. I love silver. I kind of want to see her without the cape as well. I might try that just to see what it looks like. And I'm seeing some yellow lights underneath her forearms as well. But check out those pistols on her hips. 
Love it. So let's do tippy tap as well, just to see that. Here you go. And you can definitely see the yellow. I'm almost certain those will glow in the dark. Boy, she looks tremendous. I love this. Now the wrap is a little blue. Sometimes when you pull the weapon out, you don't really notice and it kind of looks silver. But on closer inspection, there's a little bit of blue in there. I don't know, maybe not. Sometimes it looks great, and other times it looks a bit blue. I don't know, right there though, it looks really good. It's pretty clean. This is just a very, very clean overall skin. I love everything about this. All right, so here comes the nighttime effect. Can't wait for this. Let's see if she actually does glow in the dark. Here it comes. Oh, my cape's all messed up. No. So there's the full nighttime effect. You can see the glow a little bit better here. Why is my cape all jacked up? Oh, man. Oh, man, it looks like she's wearing an apron. Are you kidding me? But you can see clearly that all the yellow lights do light up, including on the cape. How do I fix that? Maybe it's because I was in the water. Let's try again. Did it fix? There we go. That's better. Oh my goodness. That looked horrible. There we go. Now we're better. So an all around great, great looking skin. And I love that they added just a little bit of color with the glowing lights. And again, the contrail on the pickaxe looks pretty good as well. Very nice. All right, so here we go with no back bling. I just wanted to see how this looks. So we'll check her out when we land down here. And I wanted to see if she has any special dialogue with her counterpart. So obviously, Jules is right down here. Let's take a peek. Hey, Jules. Free tip, don't forget to keep your gear tuned up out there. Bummer. That's what she always says. So that's unfortunate. No secret dialogue, but don't we look splendid? All right, so I just wanted to show off the full nighttime effect here without the back bling. So you can see there is a hidden light there on the very back of her that lights up too. The cape normally covers that. But other than that, there's really no reason not to wear the cape unless you just don't like capes in general. But with that said, you do get a good look at the back side of her armor, which is still pretty sweet, as you can see. So it just depends on if you like the cape or not. But here you can see the light blue I was talking about on the wrap. It's kind of a tealish color. All right, we are in a 1v1v1, and I have no idea where either of these guys are. But we're sitting pretty. Hopefully this next circle comes in my favor, and it's not. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so we got that guy a little bit damaged there. Oh boy, this guy's got an RPG. Are you kidding me? Bop. Nice pump for me. <laughs> Did I hit him on the way down? I couldn't tell. I think I whiffed. So there you go. That is the armored jewels, AKA the scrap knight jewels. Not a bad skin in my opinion. Like I said, I could totally see myself running this a lot, preferably with the cape. It doesn't look bad without it, but I think it looks a lot better with it. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this? Like I said, I think this looks better than Midas Rex, in my opinion. It's definitely a skin that I'm saving to my presets because I like it that much. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.